My name is Pam Tamevi and I'm the District Administrator with the Kuchiching Soil and Water Conservation District. The Little Fork Non-Industrial Private Forestry Project uh, is in Phase 2 and our, our main goal is being able to engage landowners, help spread education about the assistance that's available to them. We're really targeting fragmented pieces where a continuous forest management has typically been done but we've got absentee landowners that maybe uh, use it once a year for recreation and aren't aware about the benefits of doing uh, for private forest management. Well, this, this property is interesting. Uh, people have made their livelihoods here and it's changed ownership several times through the course of years and in that process there's parts of it that are neglected. The great thing about doing forest stewardship planning is that a landowner has an opportunity to meet with a professional forester on site and they get a chance to discuss the landowner's goals for their property, whether it be private forest, you know, just managing their timber, maybe they've got some timber that's ready to be harvested, maybe they're looking at a new planting. So they get to discuss their personal goals with a professional forester and then the plan that's developed is with those goals in mind. We talk about best management practices, so it's a guide for the landowner to do, to achieve their goals but in a really environmentally beneficial way. I'm interested in, in having a, a more diverse habitat where it's not just about deer and the more the, more the pollinators and the, uh, and the ruminators and the, the animals that live here and the ones that prey on them uh, have a balance. We've been receiving local capacity dollars and the Soil and Water Conservation District decided that the best use of those funds would be to fill a, a really big void in our county and that was with forest management. Um, and so we brought on a forester and so we have dedicated a portion of his time that supports the Little Fork project uh, by using the local capacity dollars. And so we have that direct link to say, how do we expand the benefit of, forest, of U.S. Forest Service dollars that was made possible by the Minnesota Forest Resource Council's efforts uh, to get this grant written. And we appreciate that um, our project partners also include the Northern Landscape Committee that really helps us get this done.